morning. It's Saturday. And it's hot outside. It's like absolutely gorgeous. Look at this, look at this. What is it? What is it, 68 degrees outside and absolutely perfect? Hey, hi Peanut. Hi. Hey. Meow. But I'm also making polenta grits this morning. Fun fact, grits were the first thing I ever learned how to cook. Mike is gonna probably go watch the football game at some point, and I am going to film a new concept of video on my channel this morning. No, B, you cannot use the doggy door. No, you do not have the gross tonnage. Oh my God, it's so incredible outside. So yeah, I'm gonna film this will it dupe concept. I'm going to give that a shot today and I'm going to be doing it with the Huda Nude palette because that is one that really piqued my interest, but I just feel like most of it could be accomplished with stuff I already have. So anyway, I'm going to also film probably tomorrow my, I really want to get it right, but like my guidebook essentially on how I stopped picking my face. So I'm gonna do that one without any makeup on because I want people to kind of see exactly what I'm working with. But yeah, that one's really important and I wanna make sure I make a lot of notes before I do it because I know, I know how big of a deal it is. Um, all right, I have to go check out my grits. Hello. I'm pretty made up right now, but I'm digging it. I just got done editing my very first anti-review and I'm really happy with the way that it turned out. I think this is gonna be a really fun series on my channel, even if it doesn't like catch on right away. I think it's a really great kind of valuable exercise and a way of revisiting these palettes in an unexpected way. I was just having so much trouble during Gratitude Month justifying going back and being like, let's look at this palette any palette, let's do a new look in it, and I'm gonna tell you you have to buy it for this reason. I would so much rather revisit these shades in a way that's practical and helps you guys eliminate some possible decisions that you might be trying to make, you know, process of elimination, and decide where best to invest your money. Because it's not saying don't ever buy an eyeshadow palette, it's just like, you know, I want you guys to be a little bit more informed across brands, across palettes, which ones are, because I do buy my own products. I only partner with a handful of brands that you know have me on their like PR list. But for the most part, I'm buying all of my own products. I get it. <laughs> I get the guilt that happens when you have a palette that's just sitting around. And, uh, and so I do, I'm hoping, I'm hoping that this is genuinely helpful. And I really, love this look that I uh, created on my eyeballs. <laughs> so tune into that if you haven't already. I don't think this is gonna come out before then. It might, it might, I'm not sure. I hope you guys dug it. Hey baby boy, hey, I love you so much. You gotta come inside, come on. We're leaving, is your brother out here? Oh my God, I just sprayed some of the commodity gold on myself and I smell amazing right now. Mm, yep, 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 I gotta put you inside. I am terribly sorry, sweetheart. I don't really worry so much about Bruce surviving outside, more so per monster. <laughs> so I've washed all my makeup off and I didn't get a chance to put any more on, but that is okay because my skin looks really good. And we are going to Loro. <gasps> That's Mike reacting to the potential of being on camera. But of course, the back door was wide open, the front door is unlocked, and Mike is like sitting on go, waiting for me in the garage. Like, you know, all the lights are on in the house. Whatever. He's also a dog. He's basically just a human, giant, excited dog all the time. Works. What is wrong with you? Why do you do shit like that? I don't have to redo that whole shot, so thanks. Yeah, exactly. We're going to get a Christmas tree. 
and it is also candle day at Bath and Body Works. So uh, it's nine dollar candles. One of you guys gave me a heads up about that, but I kind of didn't follow exactly like the. I don't know, the continuity of it. And I was like, oh, I got the email this morning. And I was like, yes, got to remember to go get some candles today. So that's what we're doing. We are coming home with Christmas in tow. Jingle bells. Check that. Why? Because you don't believe me? That's not really a good enough reason. Do you want to go somewhere else? Do you want to go to like Home Depot or something? Which one? So we found one and it has a big chunk missing, but it's fine. He's a round boy. Oh yeah. I don't know, this is like where Bruce will sleep, right here. Exactly. Yeah. Let me see the other sides, because this will be the side that everybody sees. Oh, look at him, he's such a chunk. Oh man, I love him. You look like you're having the most fun. tree has some lights on it and my mother taught me well to put the lights on the inside kind of wrap them around the trunk of the tree because then it looks very lit from within but we have a round boy on our hands and so um, he's very lit from within and not so much lit from without and so he is very beautiful and we love him very much but we're probably gonna need like three more strings of lights to kind of do an outer layer because well they just all kind of get hidden in his little in his little belly. So um, there's that. <laughs> well, do you know, maybe don't eat the pine needles. It's Christmassy! I didn't even mean to do that. <sighs> okay, I'm about to take a bath. Mike went upstairs to watch some stuff. Um, I would normally close the door to the bathroom, but I just don't want to disturb my little friend here. <sighs> He's just the greatest. And uh, I am just putting together a little bubble bath. I don't have anything to really like recover from, which is a nice feeling. I don't feel like I am in a white knuckle survival state lately, which is incredible. I think it has to do a lot with my work being what I love, some of the rewards that have come through lately, and like staying inspired and stuff, and also just my meditation practice. So I'm gonna link the book down below that has really put me back in touch with meditation in a way that really resonates with me because the whole like Headspace app and everything just never did it for me. I was like, great, I'm just sitting here. Like, what am I supposed to be feeling? And I am reading this book called Becoming Supernatural and I've talked about it before, but if you haven't heard about it or haven't read it, I will link it below. It is really heady and really woo woo, uh, but it's it works for, um, you know, finding your way in meditation and finding the way that meditation can really help in your life, like actually make a difference. So I, I'm taking a bath not because I'm like, you know, drinking a glass of wine and decompressing. I feel no, nothing to decompress from. Um, nothing is compressing me. I'm just having a glass of ice water and running myself a hot bath and I'm gonna watch some Gilmore Girls. And Jen M came out with a video I'm gonna watch real quick. I wanna know what this is about, but um, I, I just kind of wanted to like mark this moment in time, you know, for you guys, but also for myself because I do finally feel like I can breathe <laughs> and I don't feel this like weird pressure like something is getting away from me all the time and I don't feel like my days are wearing me out. I feel like I love my work. It's Saturday and I worked 
all day today and I enjoyed every moment of it and I that's like that's what I want to feel like I want to continue doing things that make me happy so but yeah I'm going to go enjoy my bubble bath and little guy has moved so I think I will close the door I love you say hello to your public yeah all clean. I have my favorite companion here with me and I am sitting in bed on a Saturday night at 8 30 p.m. <laughs> it's okay. I'm covered in uh, some amazing skincare. I've really done a good job of not picking even though there are things that are trying to provoke me. So what I'm doing is <laughs> This, if you're unfamiliar, is, yeah, it's called a light stim for acne, and the wrinkle one costs way more, but this is a really good purchase when you've got some of the discounts going for you at Sephora, or on Amazon, or anything like that, and, uh, and it's awesome. It actually really freaking works, and helps heal your skin. So, I'm going to sit here and watch Gilmore Girls, and heal my skin, <laughs> and just relax, and drink some water, and just, you know, unwind, hang out with, oh, dear sweet Jesus. Has there ever been anything, anything, anything that sweet? Hello. Never mind that. The president has previously yearned for a station. Well, because they are doing well. And so, you know, in that regard, Nails would have been right on board. More by the book than what Sean Hannity does. Long before Trump, Fox News was talking to him about the way that he wanted to. Good morning. So, I just had my coffee and my breakfast and so I am going to push myself out the door and go running here uh, in a second because I just need to get it out of the way. I just need to get my heart rate up. I know it's going to make me feel really good and then I'll like take a shower, get ready and stuff and I have to go buy more lights for the tree and I'm going to run to Macy's because they're having a massive sale and get some stuff for some people that might be watching this video so I'm not going to be specific but yeah. Um, it's an absolutely gorgeous day outside. It's kind of windy. So, uh, I mean, I'll have to, you know, I'm going to wear just like regular, like hot weather running stuff, but I'm still going to have to wear earmuffs because it's windy. But yeah, I've been looking at a bunch of, uh, product lines today that, uh, that I want to kind of order from. I think I'm going to do a video where I do like a wish list, and then as a community, we can kind of see who's excited about what and if it like brings anything to mind for some of you guys because I've been getting some good suggestions from y'all. So and I'm going to be editing a little bit later today, but I'm planning on just letting today not be a work day because I have. I've just been like working all weekend. So I'm going to go get my running stuff on. Finally, getting proper recognition for my status as a style icon. <laughs> this thing is just really like, there's no way to make it look cute, but it's fine. It's really good for covering my ears up in the wind. We're going running. You guys, I have not been drinking lately and it's like the inflammation in my body has gone down and like, I don't know, I feel fitter looking and I haven't really been doing anything differently other than that. And it's just like, I don't know, I can see my muscles again, which is really nice. <laughs> I think that, I don't know, those kinds of things go a long way. So um, yeah, I also wanted to show you guys something hilarious. Look at this. Do you think? that maybe I need new running shoes. They're on my Christmas wish list. So sad. I've been through, I think this is like my fifth pair of this style. And uh, yeah, probably since Mike and I met, like one pair a year basically, and it's the end of the year, and this is really bad. Like it's about to be like my foot coming through. <laughs> so bringing, you know, a new meaning to the whole Vibram Soul thing. My feet will be directly on the ground. <laughs> Vibram is quaking. Hey guys, so I just got home. I left this here because I had to recharge my battery. My battery died. I was actually gonna show you guys how I did uh, my makeup today and then like my battery died almost immediately. So have to be next time, let me know. But I got all kinds of Christmas stuff. I talked to my mom the entire time that I was in Target and Michaels. Target, of course, had like nothing that I wanted. It was so picked over. And then I went into Michaels and of course they had everything and it was all like heavily discounted. And I, you know, 
<laughs> when it comes to Christmas stuff, it's all gonna be tacky anyway, so might as well. Anyway, I got a bunch of like tinsel. I got two more rolls of lights and I got some wrapping paper um, and I got some of those uh, <laughs> pine cones that smell like cinnamon. <laughs> And then I got some broccoli to go with dinner tonight, and it's still absolutely freaking gorgeous outside. Mike is home from his soccer game, and uh, I'm just gonna start putting this tree together. This tree just eats lights. <laughs> it consumes them. Like they all just kind of disappear in there. It's like painting a wall white. You're like, I don't know what white looks like anymore. Like, is it bright? I don't know. Like, at what point am I just gonna light the tree on fire? I know that's not really gonna happen, but still. All right, it took exactly 1,000 lights to do it, but Round Boy is finally lit. There we go. Yes. Look at him. I mean, yeah, we need to clean up all the actual decorations and stuff and put them away. But he's beautiful. A thousand lights. And I need to, I wish that these would hide a little bit better, but that's what ornaments are for. I also bit the bullet and bought some of the scented pine cones that smell just like cinnamon. That's amazing. So I always keep this little thing out, but now I'm taking out the regular pine cone and some of the other stuff and kind of rearranging it so that I can put the cinnamon pine cones in here. Yeah. So, she goes right there. Christmas! So, I bought some hooks. I always forget to do that when I go to like buy Christmas decorations. I'm like, ornaments! I forget to buy hooks. So, I bought a bunch of hooks and I'm going to now proceed to dress this guy up in his Sunday best because Round Boy only gets one shot at being a Christmas tree and I want him to know that he's the best Christmas tree. So that's what we're gonna do. So I'm decorating the tree and I wanted to show you guys this that I made two Christmases ago uh, when I was with my family and this is, this is felted. So it's got all of these like Christmas lights all over it. You know, it's like got a string of lights and then it says RIP 2016. Can you guess why we were not so sad to see 2016 go? Yeah, I don't know. 2018's been rough, but it's been really good. 2016, 2016 still, still takes the cake. <laughs> Ta-da! Now I have the fun task of cleaning everything because the floor is covered in needles and this place is kind of due for a wipe down anyway. It's Sunday, so I'm gonna do that. <laughs> Did you get a little distracted? All right, so the house is a lot cleaner. I vacuumed. I took out all of the recycling. I cleaned off all of the surfaces and everything, and everything is decorated now. Sit. 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 A big old kangaroo tail sticking straight out behind him. Yeah. <laughs> Time to make some dinner. I am making chicken again because I enjoy it so greatly. I like spicy chicken chops. Thank you. 
I literally love chicken drippings. Mm. 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 It's like the best flavor in the world. May I help you? May I help you? May I help you? Look at that tail. Oh, what am I gonna do with you? Does my hand taste like chicken? Yeah. <laughs> love you. Merry Christmas! Your baking Oh yeah. Hmm? I don't know. What are you doing, bud? It's dog stuff, closet stuff. Alright guys, it is the end of our Saturday evening. I mean it's like 8.30 but we're cleaning up dinner and just gonna go kind of start unwinding. And before I end the vlog, I wanted to kind of share some closing thoughts with you guys. I don't know, some stuff that I've been kind of thinking about meditating on lately. I was running today and running always gives me a lot of clarity. I always say it's like when my, um, when my thinking mind, my analytical mind kind of like checks back in and just starts like going down this grocery list of like things that I haven't addressed in my brain and I get to finally like sort them out without any kind of like distraction. And it was just so beautiful outside and I was stopping because I was tired. Like you stop, you know, every mile, mile and a half if you're tired and like I will like stop and try and be grateful because you like never know, you know, you really never know. You never know good, you never know bad, like things can change so quickly. And so when I have these moments of peace where I'm out on my own and I can't really th think of anything that I'm anxious about or afraid of or, you know, um, dreading, <laughs> I stop and I am grateful for my body working the way that it's supposed to and allowing me to be able to go out and run like that or the weather being really beautiful and, you know, being able to live as long as I have in this amazing city that I love and, you know, just those kinds of things that we tend to take for granted. And it's kind of funny because with the same like mindset that you take things for granted, you also accept certain things in your life that like I've heard and read referred to as the lies that we tell ourselves. And that kind of came like really clear for me today about the lies that we tell ourselves and the lies that, why did you turn green? The lies that we tell ourselves, the ways that we have kind of created our own limits in our brains. And it's not, it's not even like a spiritual thing. It's completely psychological. It it has to do with, I mean, I've also heard them called limiting beliefs. And they have to do a lot of times with kind of negative neural pathways that have been driven from birth a lot of times, you know, from early life or from traumatic situations. And we have built up, I mean, this is what, pff, I mean, if you've gone to therapy and you've ever done, what's it called? Cognitive behavioral therapy. Um, is that what it's called? <laughs> but it's like one of the main ones. <laughs> one of the main methods that people uh, approach therapy from. So um, it basically focuses on the idea that, you know, you have to unpack these negative neural pathways that have been built because you had a reason for them at some point in your life, but the reason has kind of outlived its usefulness, or the, I'm sorry, the, the defense mechanism has outlived its usefulness, and now it's just kind of like in your way, and it's limiting you because it was, you know, for a fight or flight moment, and you learned a lesson that ended up impacting the rest of your life that wasn't a lesson you were really supposed to take with you for the rest of your life, and it's like, it's as simple as that. But it can be really difficult to forgive yourself a for letting something like that like once you can put your finger on it and see it we tend to want to shame ourselves for not seeing it sooner and so that's kind of step one so that's kind of what makes it complicated but a lot of times 
just finding the lies themselves like you don't want to be honest with yourself and like a lot of the time fulfilling those lies is actually really satisfying to you like if you are convinced that you're a failure at something like failing at that thing is going to at least satisfy something in your brain that's like well you know it's i was right there's no use in trying because i suck at this one thing you know whatever hypothetical but i don't know i just i heard in my head this like what I've been talking about throughout throughout this vlog where um I've said like I don't have anything that I'm recovering from like I don't have like when I took a bath last night I was like I don't have anything that I'm like decompressing from I don't have anything to drink about I don't have anything to like feel anxious about I kind of realized that a lot of like one of my biggest limiting beliefs is that life is supposed to be hard and that in order to get anywhere in life you're supposed to subject yourself to a certain amount of misery and I, that doesn't mean that everything's supposed to be easy all the time because honestly happiness comes from choosing the challenges that you want to solve and then overcoming them that's where like actual life satisfaction comes from that's where happiness comes from but i feel like i've dialed in something recently a lot through meditation mainly through meditation that i want to protect at all costs <laughs> And it's made me really look at my life in a way of like being back in control. Um, and I am excited to kind of keep digging more on the things that I can strip off in terms of limiting beliefs. Like just, I feel like I'm kind of shedding a skin a little bit and I don't know, I kind of want to know if that's happening for any of you guys too. Like what are some of your limiting beliefs that I'm not going to say like, I encourage you. I'm not like any kind of guru, but you know, what are some limiting beliefs in your life that like when you finally saw them for what they were, you were able to overcome them and you were like, wow, um, here are all the good things that actually are on the other side of this. So, um, yeah, I think that I've been kind of clogging my life up with the idea that I was not allowed to be completely happy <laughs> on my own terms. And that because no one else was living their life the way I wanted to live my life, that it wasn't actually actually possible because it is really hard to kind of be brave sometimes and do your own path like actually do something that you haven't seen someone else set an example of before I'm feeling a little stronger in that sense but it's it's been really really difficult but it's so much more worth it <laughs> than the hamster wheel that I was on so I hope that that kind of resonates with you guys I don't know <laughs> let me know if any of that made sense um but yeah, I'm doing a lot better and I want to talk to you guys more about this. So definitely feel definitely feel free to share kind of where you guys are at or if any of that kind of you can relate to it. So guys, that is where I will leave you today. If you enjoyed this and this Christmassy first uh, first December vlog, um, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you want to keep hanging out with me on this channel, hit the button down below and subscribe. I would love it if you guys did. We are pacing to hit 10,000 subscribers in a week. Can you believe that? I can't. Oh wow, the color correction just kicked in. Cool. Anyway, I love you guys, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.